India has clamped down on foreign direct investment from China and its nationals across the world. The trend is even more visible after the Galwan clash in 2020 when 20 Indian soldiers were martyred. An RTI filed by Business Today has revealed that the Ministry of Commerce and Industry green-lighted just three Chinese investment proposal in 2022-23. Here's a report. This was a watershed moment in Indo-China ties. A violent clash in the Galwan Valley of Ladakh, which claimed lives of 20 Indian soldiers. It clearly appended all efforts of friendship and cordial relations, which Narendra Modi tried to build with India's northern neighbor immediately after taking over as Prime Minister in 2014. The ramping up of tension by Beijing had predictably hit economic ties as well. India has slammed the door shut on Chinese foreign direct investment. This also applies to China's nationals operating from Hong Kong, Taiwan and other countries. And this is reflected in FDA approvals over the past three years. The Ministry of Commerce and Industry has given a green light to just three investment proposals from China in 2022 and 23. An RT application filed by Business Today reveals that a staggering 58 FDI applications have been rejected by the department between April 2000 and March 2023. The initial year of the pandemic, financial year 2021, 10 applications were rejected. The following year, rejections reached an all-time high of 33. In financial year 2023, the figure decreased slightly, but still 15 applications were turned down by the department. Clearly, the trend highlights the increasing scrutiny and cautious approach towards Chinese FDI in recent times. The government has been closely examining all investment proposals originating from China. At present, there is 14 FDI applications pending with the department. Some of the big FDI rejected include a recent $1 billion proposal by the world's largest electric vehicle company, BYD, to set up a manufacturing plant in India. The company had tied up with Hyderabad-based Megha Engineering to expand its presence in the country. Another Chinese auto major, Great Wall Motor, had to shelf its $1 billion investment plans last year. Last year, July, after failing to get the requisite approvals from the government. MG Motors, a British brand owned by China state-owned, Saik Motor is looking at selling a large part of its stake to an Indian partner, reportedly to make its presence in India more acceptable to the Indian authorities. Authorities have also tightened the screws on other Chinese majors in Indian market. With income tax rates on Xiaomi, which reportedly uncovered massive tax evasion and FEMA violations. There have also been reports that some Chinese companies have been found guilty of laundering money in India. According to analysts, the government's primary focus is to prevent any potential hostile takeover of domestic companies by Chinese investors. In fact, the market crashed big time after COVID and many good companies were available for a song. In addition, the move was aimed at curtailing the presence of Chinese companies in India. Also, a number of Chinese multinationals are actually owned by the government, leading to fears of information and data leakage. Interestingly, while India has clamped down on investments from China, bilateral trade continues to balloon. China continues to be India's largest trading partner after the US, with volume of trade rising 8% in 2022, despite frosty ties. With Anand Adhikari, Bureau Report, Business Today Television.